Hi, I'm Natasha. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm currently a third year archaeology student. I'm really passionate about the archaeology of York, so I'm going to be taking you on an archaeological tour of York. I hope you enjoy it. So we're going to start the tour on the Ouse Bridge. Now this is in the centre of York, and as the Ouse was so important to these main societies that we'll be looking at in this tour, so the Romans and the Vikings, I thought it was a good place to start. It also gives you an idea of what York and the centre is like. So the first stop is on Coppergate, and it is the Jorvik Viking Centre. It's one of my favourite places. It is an amazing archaeological site. And it currently has this reconstruction built on top of it. And it gives you this really immersive and really unique take on the Viking Age and a really useful insight. I think one of the reasons that I really enjoy visiting the Jorvik Viking Centre and also why I really enjoy studying archaeology at York is the consideration for all of the different types of people who lived in Viking society. So here there's an image of, and it's part of the Jorvik Viking Centre exhibition, um, an Arabic traveller. And I'm currently doing my dissertation about Arabic travellers in the Viking world. So it's really interesting that I'm able to explore that um, through doing a degree, an archaeology degree at the University of York. And it's really, really interesting that it's something that we explore in class and get to discuss. So once you've visited the Orvik Centre, you're going to want to walk back up through Coppergate and walk towards Parliament Street. As you can see, it's quite busy at the moment. And then head towards the Roman Bath. Now, this might seem a bit strange to suggest a pub on an archaeology tour, but it's actually very important because a Roman Bath was actually excavated below the pub itself and you can visit and go underneath and see all of the different systems that were involved in the Roman baths. Now these are the baths for the fortress, the fortification that was known as Eber Arkham. and so it's really significant to York's history because it was founded by the Romans in 71 AD. So it's very interesting to visit and after you can treat yourself to a cheeky pint. So after that, you're going to want to go towards the York Museum Gardens. Now here, there are lots of examples of some really interesting archaeology. Now this is the Multangular Tower. It is one of the best examples of Roman remains in York. And it was built as part of the fortress of Ibarakum. And was significant because legions like the Legion of the Ninth departed from York. You've also got the medieval ruins of St Mary's Abbey which are really beautifully located in the museum gardens and make it very picturesque. And snugly situated in the museum garden, surrounded by these beautiful ruins, is the Yorkshire Museum. It's absolutely fantastic and is a really informative space that really supplements your archaeological studies at the University of York. For example, there are permanent exhibitions that reflect the archaeology of Eber Arkham in the museum and really engage with the idea of the diversity of the empire. And that's something that we get to explore in our course. We get to present case studies on the archaeology and the diversity of Eber Arkham and how significant that was to the empire. After that, I would highly recommend a visit to York Minster, one of the finest examples of Gothic architecture there is. And the tour wouldn't be complete without visiting King's Manor, the location for studying and research, and the Department of the Archaeology of York. King's Manor is the place where you will be studying all of these amazing aspects of York's culture and history and heritage, the diversity and the different types of people that it draws in, and the significance of it throughout time. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed that archaeological tour of York.